Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Elden Ring. This time I'm going to show you how to access the subterranean shunning grounds during the end game. Spoiler warnings on this video. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't want to be spoiled for anything related to the end game, don't watch this. If you're looking for how to get to the subterranean shunning grounds without being in the end game, and trust me, you will know when you're in the end game, then I will leave a link to the video showing that in the description below. Okay, once you've reached the end game, the capital changes a fair bit, and it becomes Lanedale Ashen Capital, or Capital of Ash. It says two different things. Also, weird thing, Faram Azula is spelled two different ways in this game, F-A-R-A-M and F-A-R-U-M. Item descriptions and titling is different. Anyway, once you reach the end game here in the Ashen Capital, the original entrance to the subterranean shunning grounds is disabled. You can't reach it anymore. However, if we were to go to this mark on my map that I have right here, you can still access it. And believe it or not, you can get a new talisman that you were not able to get to before. So the way you do that is from the side of grace. You just want to walk this way. And then we're basically going to go down to what is effectively the street. And there is a sewer grate that is now open. So we can jump down here very carefully, fall down here, and then just fall along the edge here. This way you don't go right down the hole. And then you can fall onto this beam, and then on this beam is a corpse, and on this corpse is a talisman, and that talisman is the Crimson Amber Medallion plus two. So that's how you get this. And then you are now in the subterranean shunning grounds. Congratulations. So this would be the traditional entrance had you gone through here before the end game, but it all leads to the same place. Everything is just as accessible as always. And right here is the site of grace that you'll become extremely familiar with. I will link in the description below a maze kind of puzzle solution to this area. It is very confusing. It is very long. You'll be here for a while. It's effectively a legacy dungeon and it's got a lot going on, a cool boss at the end, access to another dungeon, tons of stuff. All right, but that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Elden Ring, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. The links for those are in the description below. As always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.